All right, what's going on guys and welcome back. So today we're gonna to be going over the 20 ticket locations in Kasepis. That'll allow you to capture Umbra Hella, a I guess sort of like pseudo legendary-esque creature in the game that is only available through this specific method. Sort of like what we saw with Pixie in the last content update that Kasepis has. But anyway, we're gonna be going through this pretty quick. So feel free to pause wherever needed. And without further ado, let's start right by the clown. So to the left of her, there's this machine. Stand on it, grab the chest. Pretty simple. Go over to the right behind the house. There's another one here. Jump up on the house. There's a green button you can step on. That's gonna unlock the third chest. Next up, if you go to the merry-go-round, there's a secret button on one of the horses. That'll unlock the fourth chest. For the fifth one, we're actually going to unlock a secret island by uh, hitting a switch. Number six, we're gonna head all the way to the west. There's a button right here that you can press. And don't mind me, I'm just uh, exploring. <laughs> Number seven, you're actually going to want to get to this island. Now I cheesed it here, you don't have to. Uh, you can knock it down with the appropriate uh, pass, but anyway, there's an electrical box to the back of the cosmic zone. You're gonna bring that all the way back to where we just were earlier. You're gonna plop it on top of the warehouse. For number eight, we're gonna go into the warehouse. There's gonna be a box on the left. You're gonna throw it in here. I kind of struggled with it a little bit during our playthrough. But uh, once it gets in, it'll unlock that chest and you can grab the eighth ticket. Next, we're gonna go into the witch house. Now, these can be done in any order. This just happens to be my order of doing things. But if you go all the way to the west, you're gonna find an electrical box. You just plop it down. That's gonna open up this, which is going to be integral. So that's why I'm including it here because this isn't actually a ticket. Uh, this is just the red uh, ruby eye, which you're gonna need. To the west of that though, there is a, a little switch in the pool. You're gonna press it and grab the chest. Then one room to the east of that, you're gonna uh, hit the little button next to the pipe. That's gonna unlock the 10th ticket. Now head all the way to the east. Again, you're gonna need that ruby eye. That's going to unlock this area. There's gonna be a little boss encounter sort of thing. Once you defeat it, press the button. It's gonna knock down all the spikes, which will be important for later. And then there's a chest to the right. Then head back to where you just were. This door is now open. You're gonna need to go through here again. This chest itself isn't a ticket, but it is a required item. So just follow what I'm doing on screen to get the chest itself. And then go to the door that that key unlocks. <clears throat> and you're gonna be in this sort of library room just to the west. You can find the chest itself. Uh, <laughs> I struggled a little bit here, but we made it work. Next, we're going and in, gonna go into the fun house. We have a few different ways to go. So we're gonna start by going west. Then just to the side of the house, there will be a little switch. If you have advanced flight, you could just fly there. Then you're gonna press the button that's gonna unlock that chest and then head all the way back. And number 13 is yours. For number 14 from here, you're gonna continue east. And there's the spinny thing. So you're gonna need an electrical uh, box in order to unlock that one, so we're gonna go get that. And the electrical box does actually have two separate functions. The first one isn't technically necessary for the key, but we're gonna hit both of the boxes just because that's what I did through my playthrough. So that's the path. I mean, again, I have advanced flight, so I could just fly over that. Like, I, you could pretty much fly over all the obstacles if you do this in the end game. 
But uh, yeah, so we're gonna get the chest here and that's number 14. For number 15, you're gonna go to that area where all those doors lead to just before the, the final uh, boss of the area. You're gonna go up to the right and then through this uh, sort of Mario Sunshine-esque spinny thing. If you guys have played Mario Sunshine, you know what I'm talking about. Just over to the east, there's going to be a, a little a little spot for you to like boost up. If you go to the right, there is actually a secret switch in this area. And that'll unlock the chest on the top of the roof. I had to do a little edit here because I fell, <laughs> but you guys got it. So that's number 15. For number 16, we're going to go from the entrance to the right. Uh, follow along the spinny thing. And there's also going to be something we have to push in order to unlock the chest. Oh, never mind. The chest didn't need to be unlocked. <laughs> Next, we're going to go to the final area. Let's head up all the way around. It's, it, it, it's a little lengthy, but... Gonna go all the way to the west. There's gonna be a button with uh, the chest right there. That's number 17. Number 18, head even further west. I'm gonna hit that button, it's gonna pop a chest. Bam. Number 19, you're gonna go to the room with the giant wall. And then you're just gonna head off to the right. Open it up from there, and then finally, right in front of the vault before the boss, you have one more ticket. And that's pretty much it, guys. These 20 tickets are integral in order to unlock the final boss. I guess you could say of the area that is a catchable monster. Again, its name is Umbrahella, and it's a pretty interesting toxic type nonetheless. That being said, if you found this guide useful, definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all things monster taming. I will have some other guides made available very soon as well, so stay tuned for those, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.